Today I thought I would show you guys a fool's mate. Well, two. Uh, this is the first one. It's a fool's mate by White. It's called the Two Move Checkmate. I think you've seen it before. It's quite simple. White develops pawn up to, yeah, f3. Pawn f3. Of course, two spaces up, king's pawn for black. White, stupidly, and this this only happens like one out of maybe a thousand games. I have not seen this happen in any games. Unless we are joking around and we made it happen. Uh... Pawn to g4 is the next move. And then... Queen h4 pound. And... That's when you shake their hand. Now let's look. The queen's right there. The king's right here. He can't move right here. He can't move out of the way. Pawns are in his way. He's in check. This is an example of checkmate. And he can't block. The knight can't move in the way. The bishop can't move in the way. And the rook can't move in the way. So this is a fool's mate. Because those are two moves. Only an idiot would fall for that. That's why they call it a fool's mate. Uh, or a beginner. You know, experienced player would never do this. Unless they're just joking around and wanting to throw a game. Well, that's the first fool's mate. This one I'm about to show you is the second fool's mate. It's probably the most popular fool's mate. It's the four move checkmate. Pawn to e4. Responds, pawn to e5. This also bridges other opportunities. Now, if he does pawn to e5, you'll do a different move than what what's expected. Uh, you develop, you always want to do this first. Develop the bishop to c4, attacking that pawn. Let's say, what the heck. He moves his knight to c6. Knight c6. Since he moved e5, he did pawn e5, that was a mistake. Now normally if he didn't do that, you would come right here. And then the next move, you uh, you would do exactly what you're about to do this whole time. Instead, since he moved e5, you come right here. So in case he is smart enough to counter the fool's mate, you get his rook. But, as the fool mates follow, He'll prob it doesn't matter. Uh, it's really hard to counter it now. Checkmate. Four moves. This is the most common about uh, among low-rated players. Most of the ones that I've seen have tried this on me and fellow friends of mine. And it comes to great surprise when they w end up with a really bad board position and start getting slaughtered. So... Don't try this unless you know they're a complete beginner. And that's the second fool's mate. Look at my new book. 300 chess games. Uh, don't know what that means. It's by, uh, the, the chess games are by, well, the book is by Sigbert Tarosh. Sigbert Tarosh. He was a, a great grandmaster of the past. A uh, friend suggested this book to me, and this is the English language edition. I just got it in the mail today. New edition. And I've already broke it in a little bit. Reviewed a few games. Pretty nice book. Has that little shiny cover. Nice. Let's see the back. Hmm. Nice. I like this book. Really good book. The after chess board I've been reviewing the games on. I was just about to review another game. Where he played black. So, uh... You guys should try out this book. Pretty good, uh... Pretty good review. And they say, 
reviewing games uh, helps your skill and level increase. But oh, well, we're going reviewing games of masters and grandmasters. So, chart the book.